Hi friends, today we are going to see the various parts of the theodolite. So this is a typical theodolite instrument, okay, which is having the 10 cm diameter horizontal circle and 20 second theodolite. Means the least count of the theodolite is 20 second. So various parts of theodolite we are going to see now. So first is the trivet in this theodolite, the part which is going to rest on a tripod. Then foot screw. Foot screw are used for the leveling purpose, and this is called as a tri branch and this whole unit is called as a leveling head okay above this we have horizontal circle horizontal circle basically have the two plates one is a main plate and other is a vernier plate so see here you can see the plate b here which indicating the vernier and below that you are getting the reading 180 and 190 like this that plate is a main scale and to see those readings we have the window glasses here so this is called as a window a and this that other side is a window b and this these are the magnifying glasses these two are the magnifying glasses through this through this we are going to see the reading okay this horizontal circle having the main plate as well as the vernier plate and the main plate the least count is uh, 20 minute here because one degree divided into three lines so list count on main screen is a 20 So list count in one line is a 20 minute and the vernier having the maximum reading 20 minute and list count is a 20 second. So other part of the theodolite here in, along with horizontal circle attach the optical plummet. The optical plummet is having the glass and it is used for the centering purposes means when you want to fix the instrument theodolite exactly over the station in that case through this optical plummet we are going to see the plumb bob. And exactly we are going to set, see that plumb bob on the ground point with the help of the peg. Okay, so this is optical plummet, use of optical plummet for the centering purpose. Here are the two plates in the to control the moment of the horizontal horizontal movement of the plates, means the vernier plate and the horizontal plate. When we are going these so these are the clamps. This is called as a lower clamp and this is called as a upper clamp. So if you are going to fix these two clamps, there is no movement of these plates, means the theodolite is not going to move. But when we are going to release the upper clamp in that case, case you can see there, there is a movement of the vernier scale. And if I am going to fix the upper clamp, there is a no movement of vertical plate, sorry, the vernier plate. And when I am going to release or unclamp, the lower clamp screw in that case the both plates are going to move simultaneously means there is a no change in reading so if you people want to read the vernier plate or we want to take the reading so we have to lose the upper clamp and if you don't want to get the readings we are going to lose the lower clamp okay so this so by so this by using this magnifying glasses you can see the reading at a window a and window so b and these are the lower clamp and this is the upper clamp along with this we have to set the plates initially vernier a to 0 degree and vernier b to 180 degree so for setting after setting these plates if there is a minor or there is a that exactly the vernier a and vernier b is not going to set at 0 degree in that case we are going to use this uh, tangent this is called as a lower upper tangent screw and this is called as a lower tangent screw the tangent screw used for the fine adjustment on the plates okay and here is a bubble tube this bubble tube is called as a plate bubble and plate bubble is used for, for leveling the per, for the leveling purpose we have to take the bubble at exactly center with the help of the foot screw okay so this is the part of on the part of a third light on the horizontal circle Okay, so this is called as a leveling head, horizontal circle which having the vernier plate and the main scale which having the upper clamp, which having the lower clamp and optical plummet for the centering purpose and then we have the tangent screws, okay, upper tangent and lower tangent screw for the fine adjustment. Above to this horizontal circle there is the standards or A frames. The standard frame A frame uses to attach this vertical circle with the horizontal circle with the help, help of this A grade frame we have these two circles are attached on the horizontal circle always we are going to measure the horizontal bearings horizontal angles and by using the vertical circle we are going to measure the vertical angles so here on this 
air frame you you can see that the telescope it is attached so this is called as a telescope telescope having the eyepiece as well as telescope having the object glass and here telescope having the diaphragm so here inside you can see here here the diaphragms are fixed and this is eyepiece through the eyepiece we are going to see the readings and then we are going to bisect the ranging rods to and this is the vertical circle which having the same windows here you can see window c and you can see here window d here and the setting of the plates here we have to see the vernier here also vernier and main scale the main scale also list count of 20 minutes and vernier having the list count of 20 second also and this bubble tube here is called as an altitude bubble tube okay this bubble tube is called as a plate bubble and this bubble is called as a altitude bubble which is placed on the vertical circle and to control of this plate uh, control of the movement of the plates here you can see here you can see the vernier scale is fixed and the main scale is going to move with the help of the movement of the telescope so this clamp screw is provided here and when we are going to move the telescope the main scale is going to move when you are going to fix this clamp screw there is a no movement so if you want to measure the horizontal angle first perfectly we are going to set the telescope exactly horizontally and for that we have to set here on vertical circle vernier c to 0 and vernier d to 0 then we are going to get the line of collimation exactly horizontal okay so this is the vertical circle which having the altitude bubble having the window c and window d having the magnifying glasses and this is a telescope through this telescope we are going to see the object okay and this is focusing screw with the help of focusing screw we can get the clear vision of the object so this is about the part of theodolite here various parts of theodolite okay and next time we are going to see how exactly theodolite is going to operate